So we've come to the end of the congested league fixture period. Are you looking forward to the cup this weekend? Yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, Lene Vaughan is sort of a, a known beast to us. Um, I worked with Mark Naylor, who's their coach, uh, a couple of seasons ago at White and Matter, so it'd be good to catch up with him. Um, but yeah, the first round of the Cup, it's a, it's a handy draw for us, so we'll be taking a squad up there that'll uh, hopefully get the job done, and um, yeah, we're looking forward to the challenge. And um, you've both had a bit of a history in the, in the Chatham Cup yourselves, maybe you can talk about that? 15 years since the squad of 03 lost in the final. Um, so it brings back some painful memories. But uh, we'll be looking to put that right. It'll be a nice landmark figure 15 years later. Channel the, um, channel the end of Matt Parkins, Gab Douglas's, Jeremy Fields within the, the new generation. So uh, exciting challenge. And an opportunity maybe to blood some new players or some players uh, this weekend with non-league opposition. Yeah, busy week last week, so it gives us an opportunity to, to rest some of those those uh, players carrying little niggles. Um, and there's been some boys that have been working hard to get a, a start this week. So, um, yeah, there'll be a couple of players that will get the opportunity, and that's going to be great. It will be great. So, have you touched on um, your Matt Parkins, your Jeremy Fields, your Gab Douglases? <coughs> Do you sort of see those characters coming through in the squad of 18? Uh, no. Definitely a, a, a different generation. The, the modern day player is, is totally, totally different animal from those. I'd say, um, you know, the names we were talking there, obviously what they lacked in actual ability, they made up for in character and effort. Whereas I think the group we've got today, skill-wise and game understanding would be, would be miles ahead of them. Um, but like I said, you know, there was a time and a place for a, a Gab Douglas type who'd spend the whole game just hitting balls, um, you know, and passing to the opposition, but you know, um, while we don't want that week in, week out, there is a need for that type of player. Um, and you, you've both probably got the, um, well, you've both had history with, with playing with Jeremy Field, one of the very few players who has lost to Chatham Cup finals in consecutive years. Um, any, any words or any encouragement from Jeremy? Uh, when he was uh, at the club, obviously, he'd done quite well, but as I was coming through, he was probably on the way out, to be honest. He, he wasn't getting many starts, and uh, if anything, I probably took his position, so I haven't had a lot from him. Um, Sam played a little bit more with him, so you might be able to shed some light on that. Yeah, he was a, um, look, attitude-wise, he was he was fantastic as a player. Um, you know, someone who really struggled with the physical side of the game and, and, and speed limitations. Funny, I remember on this very field, him, um, you know, coming last in the, the first team sprint competition. But um, look, despite all that, He's, um, he's been a huge fan of what we're trying to do here, um, speak to him regularly and uh, you know, he's, he's totally behind what we're doing at the club and I'm sure you know, um, he wants our current group to succeed where he failed so miserably. The league is probably the focus for the season, so is the cup a distraction or how do you view fix, fitting cup fixtures into, into your league schedule? Uh, look, it, being used to it as a player, um, as a coach, yeah, the league is a big focus but uh, obviously there's a, a lot of history behind the cup and it, it's one that you know we want to have a, a decent run at it um, this season but uh, yeah to be honest our, our main focus is on the league and so being able to rest a couple of players this week possibly to um, to focus on that um, after this weekend is, is good for us um, and like we said it gives opportunities to uh, other players as well in the squad. Yeah I'd, I'd echo that um, Promotion in the league is obviously the you know has been the main the, the main goal the main priority. But um, I think there's a nice there's a nice feel to it. Like I said, it's 15 years since Melbourne lost in the final. It's 30 years since the last time a, a Waikato team won the Chatham Cup. Um, we all love the romance of the cup. So if we can we can balance chasing promotion with a cup run, that's a win-win.